I'm Kelly D and it's mango time. There are mangoes all over the place here in Barbados. So today I'm going to share a recipe with you that you can use with those gorgeous mangoes. Now if you like mangoes as much as I do, you can look over here and see another video that I did with mangoes. Mango ice cream. That is so delicious and a favorite with children. You can also wait until the end of the video and see another dish I did with mangoes but this is a savory dish mango salsa you absolutely have to try that but today we're going to be making a different dish we're going to be making panna cotta what is panna cotta panna cotta is an italian dessert so today we're going to be dabbling with mixing italian cuisine with caribbean cuisine as we bring to you mango panna cotta so let's go over the ingredients we have two tablespoons of gelatin half cup of milk i'm using almond milk but you can use any kind of milk that you have half cup of whipping cream or heavy cream you can use heavy cream if you don't have whipping cream two tablespoons of brown sugar no you can use white sugar if you have that one half teaspoon of essence and one and a half cups of mango pulp now to get the mango pulp i would have cut the mango removed all of the inside scraped it out then we blended it in a blender and then strained it to make sure we removed all of the pep and to make our mango nice and smooth. One and a half cups of mango puree. First step is to mix our gelatin. So we're going to pour one tablespoon into a container. We're going to keep the other one tablespoon for later. We're going to use two cups of, sorry, two tablespoons of hot water and then we're going to just mix it really quickly and once we have everything mixed together we'll set this aside for about 10 minutes over low heat we're going to add our milk we're going to add our whipping cream and we're going to add our essence and allow it to so we're going to mix it together really well until we see some bubbles form along the side. We're going to add one tablespoon of sugar to dissolve and then allow it to cool. I placed the milk mixture in a glass cup. This will allow it to cool quicker than in the saucepan. Then I added the gelatin to it and stirred vigorously. This is an important step in our panna cotta. Now our milk mixture, we're going to set it aside for a few moments to cool. And while it's cooling, we're going to prepare our presentation. So I'm going to use a pan. I'm going to put some towels on the inside because I want to put my glass perched on the side like this. And we're going to add the milk mixture to the glass. You're gonna pour it gently. Remember, aesthetics is everything. You eat with the eye first. And when it just gets to the very edge, we're gonna stop. And now we're gonna freeze it for about two hours. Now it's time to mix our second set of gelatin so once again we're going to add two tablespoons and we're going to mix it vigorously to make sure we get it all in there and we're going to set it aside for another 10 minutes it's been about 10 minutes so now we're going to prepare our puree so we would have strained it it's nice and smooth just look how gorgeous it looks so smooth we're going to add our sugar just to add an extra level of sweetness and we're going to add our gelatin and then we're going to stir vigorously to make sure it is totally dissolved. Then we're going to add it to our milk mixture to make our amazing panna cotta. Now we would have removed our milk mixture from the fridge, the freezer. Now you, you will see we wanted to get a nice design. Let's see, I'm not very artistic, but we're gonna try. So now we're going to add our mango mixture. We're gonna add it along the sides carefully. 
have it standing it will continue to fill the glass oh it smells really good and then we're gonna freeze this one for just about two hours so if you're going to be making panna cotta for an event you have to prepare it the day before i'm going to just add a couple of cubes of mango at the top and then we're going to put this to freeze as well so we're going to remove all of this because we need it to be standing and we'll put this to freeze. Our mango panna cotta is done and it looks good. It smells great. Perfect for your parties and special events. Now my favorite part to taste. It's just, it's just another way to eat the amazing mango. Let's dig in. Mmm, want to make sure I get some of the mango and some of the milk mixture. Mmm. So smooth and so silky. You can use any other kind of fruit to make panna cotta. Mango panna cotta? Now you need to try it. If you enjoy this mango recipe, I want you to look over here, see some of the other mango recipes I have done, and once you've watched them all, just click the button below, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any time I upload a video. And remember to leave me a comment. I love hearing from you.